Should I buy or sell Apple? The report for Apple was first published on our website Wednesday, January 4th, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since December 6, 2022, our system ranks Apple as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.167. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 11.58%. This is an average return of minus 0.58% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Apple our last headline reads, Stronger technical forecast for Apple stock price after Wednesday trading. The Apple stock price gained 1.03% on the last trading day, Wednesday, January 4, 2023, rising from $125.07 to $126.36. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.86% from a day low at $125.08 to a day high of $128.66. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 4.54% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 23 million shares and in total, 88 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $11.13 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $180.17, and the lowest price was $124.17. Right now the price is 29.87%, or $53.81, below 52-week high and 44.64%, or $101.90, below all-time high August 30, 2018 where the price hit $228.26. The stock lies in the lower of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $124.86 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 8.02% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 9.11% and 6.62%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 15.32% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 23.77% and 9.37%. This equals a price between $96.32 and $138.20 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Wednesday, January 4, 2023, Wedbush set price target to 175. On Tuesday, January 3, 2023, Exane BNP Paribas set price target to 140. On Tuesday, December 20, 2022, JP Morgan set price target to 190. On Tuesday, November 8, 2022, Morgan Stanley set price target to 175. On Tuesday, November 8, 2022, UBS set price target to 180. From analysts, Apple stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give PE ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Apple. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, January 3, 2023, and so far it has risen 1.03%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. The Apple stock holds sell signals from both short and long term moving averages, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long term average is above the short term average. On corrections up, 
there will be some resistance from the lines at $128.41 and $140.79. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, by signal two days ago. Bollinger, by signal five days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 21 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 22 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 16 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 45 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 67 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $126.04 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $3.58 between high and low, or 2.86%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.3%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Apple. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Apple currently has a price earning ratio of 24.15. This is a relatively normal price to earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2022 is expected to be released Jan 26, 2023. The consensus among the analysts are $1.93. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Apple meets first resistance at $134.51. If you do not hold Apple shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Apple finds first level of support at $126.04 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Apple is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On November 22, 2022 Condo Chris made an inside sell of 20,200 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 7,200 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 69,678 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 85,147 of common stock. On October 28, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 14,274 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 18.996. In total, the insiders bought 2,701,461 and sold 4,100,985 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Apple stock a buy? Apple holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong sell to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Thursday 5th we expect Apple to open up $0.339 and start trading at $126.70. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities.
you should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to 